with you. I love you. Because a vision softly left it seems all I was. Hi everyone, Christian here from the Stone Eye, and you're watching Beyond the Pale, episode four. You just crudely pasted your face over mine. Once again, this is the show where I analyze the music of the Stone Eye while teaching you some music theory in the process. So, without further ado, let's get to the music. So today we'll be looking at the self-titled track off of our 2020 release, Ventura, called Ventura. For this song, I'll be focusing on two sections, the verse and the chorus, which basically covers most of the material on this track. First, the verse. This section features a common rhythmic technique known as syncopation. Syncopation is when you have a rhythmic pattern that stresses the weak beats in a measure rather than the strong beats. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a standard measure of 4-4. Four, four. The beats that are normally emphasized in this measure would be the first beat and the third beat. The weak beats would be the second and the fourth. If we divide each of these beats into eighth notes, we have a similar situation. The odd number beats would be stronger than the even. This is why musicians put the word and between beats while counting, as in one and two and three and four and. This is to show that the eighth notes between each beat should not be emphasized. One, two, three, four, all together. Four beautiful buttes. I, I mean four beautiful bats. <laughs> if we look at the verse of Ventura, we have a rhythm that emphasizes beat one, the and of beat two, and finally beat four. So besides the first beat, we're basically just stressing all weak beats. Up, this particular rhythm has a name, the Tresillo rhythm. The Tresillo rhythm has its origins in Cuban, Caribbean, and Sub-Saharan African cultures, but now it's commonly seen in present-day pop music. <laughs> The next part we'll be looking at is the chorus. This section uses an interesting harmonic technique called common tone modulation. Yes! Common tone modulation is when you have two unrelated chords that share one common note. So if, for example, you wanted to change from C major to C sharp minor, chords that are completely in different keys, you could do so by holding over the common tone between them, which is E. So let's take a look at the guitar part for the chorus and see what's going on here. If we look at the guitar part, we see that it transitions between a handful of chords that are, for the most part, unrelated, except for the fact that they share common tones. In the first two measures, we move from an A minor chord to an A flat major chord. This transition works because of the common tone that's between these two chords, which is C. The same thing occurs between measures 3 and 4, where we transition from a C major chord to a B major sus4 that resolves to a B major. This results in what's known as a 4-3 suspension, which is when you have a held non-chord tone that resolves to a chord tone. But the way it's handled in this section is very unconventional. Now if we add the vocal part along with the bass, we get a full picture of what's going on with the harmony. Yeah. 
Here we have a series of strange chords that are held together through common tone modulation, suspensions, and stepwise motion. There's a lot to unpackage in this section, but for now I just want to focus on two chords. At the end of each chord progression we have two very strange chords, an F13 sharp 11 and an A flat sharp 11 flat 9. So in the guitar we have an F major triad that moves to an A flat major triad. This transition works because both chords have the common tone, C, between them. In the voice part we have two repeating notes that become the common tone between both chords. B, which is the sharp 11 of F major and the sharp 9 of A flat major, and D, which is the 13 of F major and the sharp 11 of A flat major. So common tone modulation is a useful way to transition between unrelated chords and to create complex and unexpected harmony. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed, stay safe, and I love you.